דיבור האמונו, חל לגימל, שיחה למדל, דף עין בס. ההפר מבין הקודש של חיים העולם, רבי נזרון לברוחו, יצא to a few people. Since your body is very coarse, thick, you know, very, very hard, so you have to bother the, bo the body with a lot of diburim from the tachlis. Tachlis is, you got to live this world. We all got to live this world one day. But, you know, the body goes, yeah, yeah, I got it, sure, yeah, are you going to eat that? <laughs> so you got to bother the body a lot with the Buddha about the Tachlas. The Tachlas says the Holy Hashem. So we mainly it is understood that one has to speak to himself. Also, a lot of the Buddha of his Chaskas, to Mechazek the Nefesh, so that you won't get, you know, totally, dis you know, demoralized and, eh, forget it, that's not for me, that's, yeah, that's, you know, for the, the big guys, that's not, it's not for me. Chas as this is in, 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 in the poem that the, that the Rebbe, the rhymes that the Rebbe wrote, writes before the Kutemara, in different places. That's what we say every morning, what are we? Machayenu, Ma'orichim, and what are we? You know, when we say in, in, in the morning, those who do say it, you know, in, in Korbanas, it says, what are we? What are our lives? What, are, what is our wisdom? What is this? I mean, every, everybody in Kopernik, like this Baruch is nothing. It's like a man mechayenu, except for the Neshama, the Neshama is going to give din v'cheshven. Every day we start by mentioning the Tachlis. Anachnu amcha, we are your nation. Ashreinu, that every single day we're saying twice a day, you know, Kriyachma and everything. It's 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 unbelievable. And it says that the 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 is chas because the person is mechazek himself and he feels simcha in his heart. But the good the good the good little things that he was able to do. As the Rebbe teaches us in the famous Torah Reish Pei Beis Zamalokai Ba'odi. And it's very, very, very important. And, and, and it has tremendous toyelis, tremendous uh, help. And the greatest errors and, 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 and gumption, it gives you gumption, gives you motivation, gives you an oomph, gives you a, 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 this in a way of Hashem, to continue in a way of Hashem. Now, it is beyond any doubt that when a person is really happy, from the depth of his heart, with the Nikudah study that he was there, it's not possible that he will not yearn to do more. Everybody wants good. Everybody wants goodness. I mean, it's, a, it's an elementary thing. If you're really happy with the goodness in you, you'd crave to do more. When a person is succeeding, you know, why does a person has, you know, doesn't doesn't have any motivation to do anything? It's not gonna work. Uh, yeah, exactly right. Yeah, everything I do ends up in tears anyhow. It's just, you know, it's an exercise in futility. I'm gonna fail as is anyhow, so why bother? You know, what do you want to do? To get up, to that, to work hard? Leave me alone. Let me remain in bed another 20 minutes. You know, I can get away with another 20 minutes, press the snooze button and just continue. But when a person is succeeding and he's happy with that success, you know, when you succeed, first of all, when a person is not used to succeeding, you know, you succeed, it makes you feel good, but it makes you fearful. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> I know they're losing just a question of time. <laughs> you know, success, it's just a tease, you know, it's just like, you know, to tease me. Yeah, but then I'm going to fail again. But what happens is, if you succeed again, and if you have, especially if you have a circle to understand, that the success that you had is huge. 
and if that that you will fail afterwards doesn't take away from it the more you realize that the more effect it has on you let's say every single thing I do fails I tried this I tried that I tried this and I failed I tried this I tried I apply for a job and I send a job into you and I go to a job and I do this and I do that and I do this and I do that and I do this. In between I go, I buy a lottery ticket, I buy I, and I win $455 million and then I go again and I fail again and I don't get this job. <laughs> that little bit over here, boom, <laughs> you know, <clears throat> just puts <clears throat> all the failures in 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 perspective, <clears throat> I'm an overnight success, literally. <clears throat> Which means there's also a possibility that if I just got you a scratch card, you know, <laughs> and I won five shekels, it doesn't make me feel like success. But if I, you know, if if I got a hundred million dollars, suddenly, whoa, you know. I'm no longer a failure, even though 99.9999999% of all the cases I failed, but that one, you know, covers it up. That's right. If we have an appreciation what Nakuda Toiva means in the heart, and that because we're, we're happy, you basically, know, but we don't feel that's what the body's heart. It does not, does not contain the simcha of the mitzvah. Yeah, I don't feel good, you know, give me a good steak, I, mean, I can appreciate that, that's what the body says. I mean, so, okay, you know, everybody does, it's a big deal, it's like that. Yeah. If the body is, uh, is able to feel the true simcha of the Nekuda Toivo, you're running. You're running. So what do you do? You do another Nekuda Toivo, another Nekuda Toivo, another success, another success, and with that, you get yourself, you know, the tayelos and the and the motivation to do more and more and more. Listen, if you I'm successful, it works. Why not? You know, it makes me feel good. Mm -hmm. I've come for today.